Well, tonight, the story of a World War II veteran who wants to get his military record corrected. Yeah, he was a member of the occupation forces in Europe, but there was a clerical error as to his location. Well, the veteran's wife called WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare to tell their story. Don? Well, the veteran's record shows that he was in Germany, but that record is wrong. In May of 1945, when World War II was ending in Europe, American men were still being drafted, most right out of high school. When the Japanese surrendered later that summer, thousands of men drafted earlier in the year still had an obligation to fulfill. If they didn't remain in the States, many were sent overseas as part of the occupational forces, and that's what our story is about. Where was this picture taken? It's taken in the club in Thekkerbrook, Austria. Austria. Former Army Sergeant Glenn Summit has some memorable pictures while stationed in Austria from 1946 through 1948. Who's your buddy there? Tony Kazmierski. Tony Kazmierski. <laughs> he was your buddy. He was my buddy. Glenn and his wife Irma enjoy seeing pictures of their youth. He was an American soldier, age 21. She a 19-year-old Austrian. Her family surviving the German occupation of her homeland when they married in 1947. This film, taken by American forces, shows the U.S. occupation of Austria after the war had ended. Well, Captain, in a parasol... Originally invaded by Germany, Austria was liberated by the Allies in 1945 and jointly occupied by the United States, the Soviet Union, England, and France. At that time, there was a lot of soldiers coming home from all over the world, really. Glenn was drafted after graduating from high school in 1945. With a two-year stint to fulfill in the Army, he would be sent overseas in 1946. I landed in Lahore, France, and from there... We proceeded by train to uh, ended up in Austria. I wanted to go to the movie. Shortly after arriving in Austria, Irma and Glenn met on his weekend furlough. Within a year, they would marry in Irma's hometown. He has saved all of his military patches, which he showed to us. This is the right shoulder patch that I was entitled to wear when, well, while I served in Austria. And this other one is a patch that specified United States Forces Austria was their left shoulder patch. As far as Glenn's concerned, he has all the proof to show of his post-World War II duty, yet his army records show he was assigned to Germany. It has uh, occupational duty, and in in parentheses it has Germany written there. And I marked it out and put Austria there because that's where I really was. On these army papers, why did they put in Germany? I was ready to go to civilian life. So you didn't catch the mistake? That's exactly right. You were anxious to get home? I was anxious to get home, yes, I was. I didn't catch my mistake or their mistake. But now, after more than 70 years, he'd like the mistake corrected. He wants things straightened out. I mean, it's not, it's not true what they say about Germany. So uh, he wants that straightened out, and which I understand. I understand now. Mr. Summit retired from the Tennessee National Guard in the 1980s. He's written to the government to get his World War II record straight, but has had no luck. I just hadn't heard anybody, and I just thought maybe that you might head me in the right direction to get it, get it changed. The incorrect notation on his record carries no consequences, but it matters to Glenn. I kind of think history is important, and this is not not a real history of I'm showing being in Germany and I wasn't. I just want history corrected. That, that's it, really the only reason. Now we did some research and discovered there is a way for Mr. Summit to have his record changed and to accurately reflect where he was assigned after the war. It's DD Form 149. It's called an application to correct military records. Any veteran can fill it out if there are errors on your record. Any local veteran service office can assist if you have a record that is incorrect. Mr. Summit is completing the form this week, and we'll let you know how it goes. And Kristen and Bo, we'd like to thank the Knox County Veterans Service Office as well as Congressman Tim Burchett's office for leading us to the correct way so we can help Mr. Summit. Uh, that's good. Hopefully just an easy fix then yeah, for, for all these years. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Don, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com or call his six on your side hotline number 865-633-5974.